2022 Hyundai Tucson Plug-in Hybrid. Is Hyundai's electrified SUV a winner? That's what we're gonna find out. Welcome to Carl Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. When it comes to electrified vehicles, Hyundai has one of the most diverse lineups in the car market. Their impressive lineup of regular hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and fully electric vehicles is pretty much unmatched by almost any other car brand. The Tucson plug-in hybrid might just be the most well-rounded and compelling option in Hyundai's electrified lineup. Plug-in hybrids are really attractive because they give you the best of both worlds. It can run like a regular electric vehicle with a dedicated electric range, but you also have a highly efficient hybrid gas engine there as a backup, so you don't have to charge it if you don't want to. So if you're looking for that perfect compromise between a regular hybrid and a fully electric vehicle, then a plug-in hybrid might just be the way to go. The question though is, how does the Tucson PHEV compare to other plug-in hybrid SUVs on the market, including Hyundai's own Santa Fe plug-in hybrid, the Kia Sorento plug-in hybrid, and the segment leader Toyota RAV4 Prime? Well, make sure to stick around until the end of the video because that's what we're gonna find out. So like the Hyundai Santa Fe and the Toyota RAV4, you can get the Tucson in three basic versions, a gas engine, a regular hybrid, or a plug-in hybrid. The Tucson PHEV's drivetrain consists of a 1.6 liter turbo four-cylinder engine matched to an electric motor and a six-speed automatic transmission with all-wheel drive. The Tucson PHEV makes around 261 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, which makes it a little bit more powerful than the regular hybrid and the most powerful version of the Tucson that you can buy. But as powerful as it is, it's not the performance that impresses most about the Tucson PHEV, it's the efficiency. The Tucson is able to travel around 32 miles or 50 kilometers on pure electric driving range on one full charge. And once the electric range is used up, it runs as a regular hybrid where it's able to get between 35 and 38 miles per gallon or between six to seven liters per 100 kilometers. With both the electric mode and hybrid mode, the total driving range is around 420 miles or 700 kilometers. And charging the battery pack only takes around two hours using a level two 240 volt charger. Now those are all pretty impressive numbers and nearly identical to what you get with both the Hyundai Santa Fe plug-in hybrid and the Kia Sorento plug-in hybrid, which all share the exact same hybrid drivetrain. But even though this is a generally smooth, quiet, and very good performing hybrid system, it's still no match for the hybrid drivetrain that you get in the Toyota RAV4 Prime. Not only does the RAV4 Prime give you better performance with over 300 horsepower, but it also gives you a better electric driving range of 42 miles or 70 kilometers. It also gets better fuel economy in regular hybrid mode with up to 40 miles per gallon or under six liters per 100 kilometers. And not only does it give you a better blend of performance and efficiency, but it also gives you more peace of mind with a better reputation for long-term reliability as well. Compared to the more complicated turbocharged engine that you get in the Tucson, which tend to be more problematic as they age, the RAV4 uses a simple, naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine. And with over two decades of experience making hybrids, Toyota just has a better track record for making hybrid systems that are known to last a very long time. Toyota also gives you a better hybrid warranty with a 10-year warranty on the hybrid battery pack, as opposed to the eight-year warranty that you get with the Hyundai. Now, Hyundai does give you a much better comprehensive and powertrain warranty than Toyota, but ultimately, if you're looking for the safest plug-in hybrid to buy and hold on to for the long term, then based on reputation, the Toyota RAV4 Prime is the safest way to go. That being said, the Tucson plug-in hybrid is a great performing and driving SUV, and this is probably one of the most comfortable SUVs to drive in the segment. It has excellent handling, great ride quality, and is just a very comfortable and easy SUV to live with on a daily basis. It also has a great design with sharp futuristic styling that makes it stand out on the road a lot more than most other SUVs. It's definitely a lot more eye-catching than the RAV4, which has a pretty conventional SUV look by comparison. The interior has a very modern and attractive design as well, although from a usability standpoint, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. On the bright side, the displays are excellent. You get a pair of 12.3 inch displays, one behind the steering wheel for all of your gauges, and a touchscreen in the center that's user friendly, responsive, and has an excellent menu structure. The touchscreen has both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the graphics are amazing, far more modern than what you get in the RAV4, which has a pretty dated looking infotainment system by comparison. But even though the RAV4 does have a more conventional, dated looking interior, it is more user friendly thanks to the use of regular buttons and knobs for most of the main controls. 
The Tucson, by comparison, uses a haptic feedback control panel with a gloss black finish. Not only does it show a lot more dust and fingerprints, but it's just a lot more finicky to use and nowhere near as user friendly as just having regular buttons and knobs. If you prefer a more conventional control setup, then you'll probably be more attracted to the interior of the Santa Fe plug-in hybrid, which has a much more user friendly interior similar to the RAV4 Prime. That being said, the extensive list of features and tech that you get with the Tucson is very impressive, especially when it comes to the safety tech. For example, the Tucson offers a very advanced highway driving assist, which gives you true semi-autonomous driving capability on the highway. You can also get a blind view camera system in the gauge cluster and a smart remote parking system, which are features that you really don't see on many rivals. And not only is the Tucson very advanced when it comes to interior tech, but it's also very practical with plenty of interior space. Even though the Santa Fe is marketed as a larger, more practical SUV than the Tucson, there's really not that much difference between them when it comes to interior space, and the Tucson would make the perfect family SUV. The amount of interior and cargo space that you get with the RAV4 Prime is pretty similar as well, making all three of these excellent SUVs in terms of practicality. For some buyers, one drawback to all of these is that they are only two-row SUVs with seating for up to five passengers. So if you are looking for a more spacious plug-in hybrid SUV with three rows, you are going to have to look at something else like the Kia Sorento plug-in hybrid or the upcoming Mitsubishi Outlander plug-in hybrid, both of which come standard with three-row seating. When it comes to pricing, the Tucson plug-in hybrid ranges from around 35 to 42,000 US or around 43 to 48,000 Canadian. That makes the plug-in hybrid option around $5,000 more expensive than the regular hybrid version of the Tucson. Now that does sound like a pretty large premium to pay, but remember the plug-in hybrid is eligible for electric vehicle rebates, which could help reduce the price premium by quite a bit. Depending on where you're located, the Tucson plug-in hybrid could be eligible for rebates anywhere from $2,500 up to $7,500, which means it might be possible to get the PHEV for less money than the regular hybrid, which would be very impressive. Of course, all of this applies to the RAV4 Prime and other plug-in hybrid SUVs as well. Compared to the Tucson, the pricing for the RAV4 Prime is around three to 4,000 higher, which might be justified given that it does have a better electric range and better performance too. Regardless, the decision as to which plug-in hybrid SUV to buy might not have anything to do with the pricing or even which SUV is really best. It might ultimately just come down to availability more than anything else. Unfortunately, the reality is, is that due to very high demand for electrified vehicles and the major car shortage caused by the pandemic, the availability of plug-in hybrids is very low and the waiting period when ordering one from a dealership can be extremely long. For example, the waiting period to order a RAV4 Prime can be anywhere from one to two years depending on your location. And from what I've seen, the waiting period for a Tucson is not a whole lot better. It can be around a year long depending on the location. Ultimately, if you want to buy a plug-in hybrid SUV in a somewhat reasonable amount of time, say under a year, you're going to have to open yourself up to more options and consider other SUVs like the Hyundai Santa Fe PHEV, the Kia Sorento PHEV, or even the Ford Escape PHEV. But if you don't mind doing a lot of searching or just ordering one from a dealership and waiting a very long time, then which plug-in hybrid is best, the Tucson or the RAV4 Prime? Well, if you're looking for an electrified SUV to buy and hold on to for the long term, then the RAV4 Prime is probably still the safest option to go with. You won't have to gamble with a brand new untested drivetrain like you get in the Tucson, and it comes with Toyota's legendary reputation for outstanding long-term reliability and very strong resale value. It's also just a very well-designed plug-in hybrid SUV with excellent performance and fuel economy and a very good electric driving range too. That being said, if you don't mind taking a shot on the comparatively brand new Tucson, it is a very impressive SUV. Not only is it a lot more striking in terms of its design, but it also has top-notch technology, a great driving experience, and an excellent warranty too. Ultimately, Hyundai did a phenomenal job, proving that next to Toyota, they are indeed a leader when it comes to making electrified vehicles. So let me know what you think of the Hyundai Tucson plug-in hybrid. Would you buy one over a Santa Fe or a RAV4 Prime? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also take a look at some of my other car videos by checking out these links over here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you need any additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to check out carhelpcanada.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.